Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. So yesterday you got to see part one of Abby and I's shopping trip at Breathe at Home and today you get to see part two of us wrapping up our shopping trip and it was amazing and we just have a really good chemistry. Abby and I just need to become good friends. We exchange numbers so that we can do that but today is shopping trip part two and we have two days of advent calendars to catch up on so we're going to do that. We're gonna go back to shopping, and then day four is complete. All right, all right. Day three and day four. Day three is up here. I'm thinking there's gonna be a bird on a branch. Oh, no, not a, not a bird, but an elf. And then he's gonna have a scarf. Oh, he's winking. He is a cheeky little snowman. He's winking at us. All right, so that is that. Let's go ahead. My advent gift from Danielle is my book lovers. We have day three and day four to open. Day three. Oh, right here. Oh, wait. I have always wanted one of these. And I love how simple it is. It's from the library of, with the, I have to get myself an ink pad. I have always, always, always wanted one of those that I'm very excited about. And then this one, uh, it's an ornament that says one more page. This is so amazing. I am so glad she got me this. I have literally wanted one of those stamps forever, and I've never taken the time to get myself one. All right, let's go to Liberty. Day three and day four. So day three. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that. So, I actually have used this many times. I can't get over this calendar. The Luna Sleeping Night Oil, so good. I will be cracking that open immediately. And then day four, oh, great brand, Dr. Barbara Sturm. And it is her face cream. This calendar is a winner and one that I would buy year after year. Highly, highly recommend. All right. Pour some sugar on me. All right, what did we get in day three? <gasps> we got the raspberries. I love these. I love the texture of them. They're like a gummy, but they have like these like little sprinkles on the outside. I just love and adore them. And then we also got, are these the butterflies? Let's double check. So we got the Mary Berries and Holiday Presents. Love, love, love. Let's go down here. Do you have an LED face mask? This is ridiculous. It's not. Okay, so fun fact. I was looking me, at them. Do you know that I'm an esthetician? No. I do facials next door I have for 19 years. Okay. So I've been an esthetician for 19 years. I'm obsessed with skin. We have an incredible skincare line next door at Breathe. And the LED is something that I've done in my treatments for years. Okay. So when I've been doing them in treatments, I have so many clients who want to do them at home. I've done a ton of research. Omnilux is by far. I've, by far I've heard of this brand thing. before. So this is another great gift for him, for her, for a teen, for somebody that you don't know what to get. They have it all. When you're doing an LED mask, it's LED, it's red light and near infrared light. And what it's doing is it is helping to reduce redness in the skin, okay. reduce inflammation. It really helps to reduce the visibility of fine lines and wrinkles. Okay. It's incredible for hyperpigmentation and sun damage. Um, so there is a men's mask, which really is only a men's mask because it's just a little bit wider okay. in the face. Um, what's cool about it is you charge it 
and you can wear it. So my kids think I'm an absolute. Oh, it looks like person. it looks like I walk around in my pajamas Star Trek. with my face mask, the little charger in my pocket. <laughs> it goes for ten minutes. Okay. Anyone can do something for, for ten, 10 minutes. minutes. I also keep like when I'm done with it, I'll keep it in my nightstand so that like let's say that I don't wear it during like what I normally do walking around, then I can throw it on before I go to sleep. Once a minutes. day? Once a day. 10 minutes. Morning or, would you suggest morning or evening? I like to do, well, when you'll do it. Okay. So I hate to give like these. I love that answer these though. Specifications because it actually doesn't matter what works for me because my life is different yeah. than your life. So it doesn't matter. Okay. You just want to be doing it on clean skin. Okay. Which means like let's, you don't want to do it on a face of makeup. You okay. want to make sure that your face or is like clean. Or like a day of like sweat. Yeah. Dry, all the stuff. Whatever. Yes. So you want a clean face, but your face is clean when you wake up in the morning. So let's say you're a snoozer. You press the snooze button before you do Put that. It grab it out of your nightstand, throw it on and snooze for 10 minutes. I love Easy. it. You can do it. But it really is like my clients who do it regularly. My mom is always my guinea pig and she, she's definitely noticed a difference. She's got her decollete on. Wait, <laughs> that's amazing. And she's got her glove on. Oh my gosh. So, these, so your hands are the first place that you show aging. My Actually, mom and I just life. talked about this. This is a great mom gift too. I might, oh. So my mom does this every single night while they're watching the news. My dad's sitting next to her on the couch and he's like, you look like an absolute lunatic. <laughs> well, guess what my dad's getting for Christmas? Uh, because they should look like lunatics together. They should. And men want incredible skin just they, as much as women do. Yes. And they don't always I, know how to do it, how to get to the end game and this. Really I agree with that 100%. If we're talking about somebody who has acneic skin, the clear mask has red light and blue light. Blue light is incredible for killing bacteria on the skin. Okay. So it's amazing for keeping the skin really, really clear. It's amazing for acne scarring, act like the texture that can happen to the skin okay. after a lot of acne. So it's this gift is for everyone. It's very, very results driven. Um, I couldn't recommend it more. I love it. I'm at, this is what I want for Christmas. I already shared those of them. Those are going on the list of like okay. great gifts. We have these in the store because my mom and my sister and I travel all the time together and none of us go on a flight without this. Oh. So it has your travel blanket. It has an eye mask, which is not to the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it fits in here. I, the other thing I want to point out about this eye mask is that it like you can make it fit in so many spots. Like I just like fold it in half because it's love so it. soft. It is. You're I love that this about it. brand has like won me over. I agree. And you got me like it, you just can't beat it. I agree. But okay. these are adorable. Yeah. So for a traveler, or let's say you part of the gift is you're a 24 hour trip to see Kelly Clarkson in Vegas, then like gift it with. Something that's you know? cute. Do this, do um, Steven. Did you hear Steven, that as well? The you. Vegas okay. trip. This is a cute, cute pairing. Maybe you're doing luggage tags with it. Maybe you're doing past Aloha beaches. So, um, that's and we got all kinds of like travel. Oh, I like things. that one. That? Yeah, of course you do. It's, pl it's boring and neutral. <laughs> it's neutral. We love it. Um. Maybe, let's say you're not doing a 24 hour trip to Vegas, but maybe you've been someplace special. These books are so fun to start a collection. I do love, oh, I love creating so a gift that then kind of provides me gift ideas for many holidays to come. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting actually one of these collections of books for my sister and I am going to slowly start to pick the places that we've either been together that are special or places that are like on her bucket list. They're so beautiful. You never even have to crack the binding because the binding looks so good on a bookshelf. Like oh. I have a stack of three. I've never even looked inside because I just love the way they look They're on my They're so bookshelf. pretty. So they're great for a shelf, great for a coffee table. And then there's other options that like maybe aren't destinations, but maybe it's like inspiration yeah. of places that you want to go. Um, so like there's a cool adventures book. This could be cool for like a teenage boy Ugh. or something like that. But I mean, they're so pretty. The book that I, I bought Steven a bunch of books last year. If you remember, you had like the trees Wise book. Trees. Oh, and we only had one. Yeah. And we still like, it sits on, 
is actually like the crystal that you got me mm -hmm. sits on top of it. But we have a stack of them. And like I pull that book, Stephen pulls that book and we read it all the time because cool. it's so it's it's one of the prettiest books that we own it's I, agree. I love that book I agree. so I think books are I think that's a fun gift to give I do I just actually thought of like that for a teenage boy I think is cool and then where is um we have another <clears throat> that is oh extreme like a girl I think this is so cool for a teenage girl, a young girl. It's all about like these badass girls doing all of these really cool things. And I think there's something I love to gift a book with a handwritten like letter in it. I think there's something very important about it. So like I think if you have that girl in your life and you write them a note, like that's so meaningful. Agreed. And like that's a book that they keep the rest of their life. I think handwriting is something yeah. we've lost Agreed. so much, but I think it like it is something that's super important to me. Agreed. So like I've always wanted in my pantry, and I think it's like a 2024 thing, to blow up and use one of her recipe cards as wallpaper in my pantry that it's like her handwriting. We are so on the same wavelength because my grandma, so next door at Breed, we have an acai bowl okay. that is topped with our house-made granola. Okay. And when my mom opened Breed 21 years ago, it was my, she gave my grandma the job of like creating a granola recipe. Uh-huh. And she had it written down. And then when my grandma passed away, like many years later, we blew up the <gasps> granola recipe no way. in a really cool frame. And so, yes, it's all of these things that I like, agree. you don't necessarily think are special, but so many years later, they're, they're beyond, I mean, it's priceless. So my next tattoo, my, I have one note from my grandmother that she wrote my name, uh -huh. Christopher, yes. and that's going to be my next tattoo across my wrist. I feel like handwriting has gotten lost. I'm a big note writer and a letter writer still to this day. I know. I saw you give that book away yesterday. I'm I know. I'm like sweet. a huge, I'm, I, I just think handwriting is so important. Listen, should we get back to it? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am pumped. Okay. Let's turn around right here. Okay. Did I talk about these neck pillows last year? Yes, we did. Okay. So every person in my life owns the neck. Yes. So I was like, what am I doing I got, now? I got one that had the beading on it. Okay. So now we have two cousins. There are the heat mitts. So okay. So put in the microwave. Yes. They're warm. They're cozy. They're Same just... way you do that. Like I flip mine when yes. I do it. Okay. So you put it in the microwave. This you won't have to heat as long as oh, the yeah. neck pillow because there aren't as many beads. But I like to gift this with like a hand mask and then it's like a little oh. self -care. this is also like teacher gift that's a good gift um, teacher gift hostess gift that's something different mother-in-law gift um teenage girl gift so good okay these i can't live without so these are <laughs> but footies so this will fit somebody from like a size six to i'm a ten and a half okay fit into these you heat them, and the reason why I got these is because I now have two um, neck pillows that I'm heating up all the time because one's always at yeah. my feet and one's always on my neck. So now I put these on, they feel mm, real good. Oh my gosh, it's such a good gift. Yes. I feel like that is such a good teacher gift. It's something that they just wouldn't get themselves. Yeah, I love but, that. You know, it really does make a difference, and it's cozy and warm and thoughtful and soft. I love yeah. that idea. I love this whole section. Oh, I mean, who doesn't love a Sunday? I mean. So, we've got Coops, which is an incredible brand for, like, ice cream topping. So, there's hot fudge, there's peppermint fudge, there's a vegan fudge, and then there's caramel. This is fun to do, like, you could pair it with a couple bowls, which okay. would be a really fun thing to do. The River Road sprinkles are amazing, just kind of more of an elevated sprinkle option. Um, tons of other consumables that you can put in like your little gifting packages. Um, and then I love, I love like the milk glass look too. So we've got oh, cakes, yes. and batter bowls, um, mixing bowls, all kinds of things that look and feel a bit more vintage, but are just still quite elevated. Oh, so good. That's fun. Then, um, another great option for like a teenage girl or a woman or a man who just like loves I love a face steamer. So this is hot and cold. Um, you could do it pair with an ice roller. You could do this in the face mask. 
I also um, love a steamer with a little eucalyptus oil when you are stuffed up. Perhaps you need like, to do that. Like I, 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 I probably will. <laughs> and I honestly just keep my steamer out on my vanity. Like it's just always there. I use it all the time. It's also really good for opening up your pores and just yes. like cleansing. Yes. So okay, love so I love think a steamer. You need to steam before you yes. Take your <laughs> um, a simple thing, but for the travel is a magnified mirror. Great travel idea. Mirror. This is another great stocking stuffer, fun to put in with your little travel kit, and it's really nice to have it lit and magnified. So I like that option too. Oh my gosh. Okay, now. Are we gonna go to the kids stuff? Wait, are we ready? I am, I'm okay, totally ready. So for years, people were begging us to have a kids section, and before kids, I had zero interest in kids, which is why we never had a kids section. And now I have two kids, and I have an interest in kids things. Purely because what's in here is based on like what I actually felt like I needed as a mom. Mm. So it's either things that help me as a mom or things that I really felt like my kids needed that I couldn't either find that was cool or I couldn't find great quality. So that's what we have here. So let's start with one of my favorite things for mom. These I did not find until I was done pushing a stroller, but these are so cool. So these mitts, you hook to your stroller. That is amazing. It is amazing because you're so busy getting your kid warm that when it's finally time to take the walk, you are freezing because you didn't have time to get yourself dressed. So you hook these to the stroller and then all you're doing is just sliding your hands in. And then you That's keep it That's genius. Yes. Great for like suburbia life, but amazing for city life. Oh. If you're walking with a stroller all the time, you have to have these. So they come in a bunch of different colors, they come in patterns, but it is definitely- I think that might be the best mom gift. Also like for baby showers, like no one else is gonna get that. And everyone at a baby shower gifts the baby and the mom is doing all you the You said this last year too. It is, it's something I firmly believe in. Oh. The baby should be getting no gifts. The mom should be getting yes. all of them. So this is something that I think everyone needs to have. If you're getting the mom the stroller mitts, you have to get the kid these for a scooter. Oh my so gosh. My kids, I sh uh, we're outside 365 days a year. Okay. It doesn't matter what the weather is. We got to get outside and burn some energy. And they're always on their scooter. So these are the same concept for the adult, for the kids. You hook them onto their scooters. All they're doing is just putting their hand in them and then they've got like a mitten on, which as a parent, you know, putting a kid's hand into a mitten is like a wet noodle. <laughs> it's impossible. So if they're shoving them in themselves, it's so much easier, but they come in like all kinds of fun colors. I lo also love the idea. I, and I'm just thinking, I think that this will be like one of the biggest things that like everyone gravitates to. I think like as a mom, like you're fastening and on fastening, like you can't do that with gloves on. Yeah. So the idea of being able to like just pull your hands out and they're free. Yes. That's such a game changer. It is. That's I, incredible. I really, again, I have these things because I either use them personally or I wish that I had them. That's so incredible. These are amazing. Um, this is also fun to pair, like, if you're gifting a scooter. That's a fun gift to do yes. together. You're doing a scooter, you're doing the mitts, it's something complete. Okay, let's move to another one of my favorite, favorite things, which is right behind you. Here. Okay. So this is a company called Alpha Pals. So we sell all individual letters. Okay. So this is really fun to do as like a small, easy token. They're $18, they're super soft, they're very well done. Um, great for everything from like a baby shower to an older kid okay. too for their bedroom. But the real gem is this. So this has all of the letters in here. I love this because this is a gift that grows with a child with age. So oh my, my mom had this at her house and gave it to, um, my older son when he was probably two. Okay. And he started using it to identify his colors, his colors, his letters. So he would spread them all out and he would put like all the orange together or he would, you know, start to just identify yeah. what the color was. But now that he is six, he's using it to like spell words. He's using it to put them into alphabetical order. But my younger daughter is now just using it for like that beginning That's stage. That's so cool. They're very cool. They're, I think, an incredible gift. I think they're great for a grandparent to have at their house. Oh, yes. Different. Um, but it comes in 
That's also little, adorable. Right? So soft, very well done. I just think this is like one of my favorite gifts that can cover, honestly, from age like two until eight. Yeah. Because you're just starting to spell the letters. Uh, and I also could see like someone like having memories then tied to that and like wanting to keep them. The other thing that we have, I think like one of the best assortments of oh. is Jelly Cat. Love. These stuffed animals, it's like a cult following. There's everything from like every animal that you can think of. <laughs> They're so good. To all kinds of food, puppies. Tacos. Tacos, <laughs> burgers, pizza, a bowl of ramen. Like <laughs> the cutest stuff. And then, I remember last year, I didn't you have like a blue cheese? Like a yes. hunk of blue cheese. Yes. Um, which I think we still have the blue cheese. We've got, I mean, even an eggplant with I mean, earmuffs. they're so Honestly. good. And then all kinds of fun Christmas animals too. So my kids always get like a Christmas themed jelly cat like in their stuff. I love that. So I love those too. Everything from like the really big to the like little miniature cuteness. Oh, they're so good. Um, these blankets are amazing for kids but we also have them in adult i size. saw like this big smiley face ones yes so that if you love barefoot dreams it's the same kind of feel hand quality but it's a bit more whimsical so we can okay. kind of cover both categories you you're neutral yeah me i'm like color explosion. yes you love color i do love color so these i think are really fun for like a stroller baby gift nursery and then again, like we have them in full size. So for example, like I have this in my family room and I just love how bright and fun it is, but I have it in the full size. So these love. are incredible. Wash well. Wash really well. I mean, if they're four kids, they have to wash well. And 100%. I have tried it. I've washed them a million times. I love them. This is a real gem. And I got these because again, like I personally use them at home with my kids. So my kids love This is going to be another <laughs> popular item. They love to be involved and help me in the kitchen, but it's like they can only be so involved as little kids and yeah. have it be safe. So a little cutting board with a, you know, a safe knife for the kids. I love that. It helps because they stay occupied while I'm actually doing the work. Yeah. But it takes them forever to cut a cucumber. I don't care what <laughs> it looks like. I don't care if they, yeah. you know, like, it doesn't matter. Let them cut the cucumber and then like, that's I can amazing. Stay doing what I need to do. And they feel a part of it and yeah. you know, they're safe. Yeah. And like, these are the things that kids really should be I, learning how I to agree. do. I agree. I agree. You don't need Kendall Jenner cutting a cucumber. Did you watch that on <laughs> No. Oh, you have to. You I, have to now will be. She you, literally doesn't know how to cut a cucumber. Y you have to know how to do <laughs> these things as a human being. I am being. going to be watching this immediately. Well, you should because it's. Wait, I, I think this is going to be another huge item. They're That's so, such a good idea. So another huge item would be this. So do you remember paint by number? Yeah. Okay. So my son came home from school with this. He did this as an activity and now I have them. It's paint, paint by, by sticker. sticker. So it's the same concept. What they're doing is they have a picture. Okay. And then they have the stickers. So it is awesome for number recognition. Fine for, motor skills. Yes, because they're picking the sticker off. They're placing the sticker um, these are so popular that we have them for adults too. So just like there was that, that whole craze so of like cool. adult coloring, coloring books. books, now it's the same thing. These I've never so heard of that. Cool. That is so really cool. cool. Um, and again, I have these because they are such a huge hit in my own house. Oh I my love gosh. Them. Great for travel too. So like if you've got a kid on an airplane, you're going on a trip. Like and it's this not be, messy. Exactly. I love it. This would be a great activity to keep them busy. A road trip. That is every parent's dream. Yes. Just keep them occupied. Yes. Keep them occupied, keep them safe, and don't have a bunch of stuff get dirty everywhere. So I love That's those. genius. I love a sleeping bag too. A sleeping bag is a great idea for a grandparent in particular to give a grandchild. I was just, that is so crazy you said that. My first sleeping bag was bought my, by my dad's parents, my grandparents. Yes. I don't know why they got me a sleeping bag, but it was- Because they wanted you to sleep over. But I remember it being one of the first gifts I remember getting from them. Yeah, core memory. Yeah. Okay, so I will tell you as a parent, it's actually very hard to find cute sleeping bags because I had a hard time finding them for my own kids. 
So we've got like a Wait, fun that is race cute. Pod. It comes with a pillow that's a tire. A tire. Um, there's a fun little like plaid. I love the situation. plaid. There is a kayak. That's so fun. This is a kayak sleeping bag. Wait, those are so it neat. It comes with a complimentary oar. <laughs> Wait, those are incredible. So this, I just think, is like such a great idea for either sleepovers at grandparents' houses or sleepovers at aunts and uncles or, you know, whatever it I love be. it. It's just like a fun novelty item. I think that's so crazy that I. it's like the first gift I remember getting from my grandparents. And you're like that, oh. and you said like that's such a great grandparent. I don't. It is. Well, I. I mean, I say that because like this is what my mom has gifted to her five grandkids are sleeping bags. Because how do you find this stuff? It is my mission in life. Like, what do her. you do? Like, it does does it just like strike you and you're like, I need to find something that goes with that? Well, sometimes it'll be like I need to solve a problem for myself. Okay. So like I needed to find those scooter mitts because I was going insane with my kids okay. like putting on the hand. And then I just happened to find the adult size. This, my mom was like, we have to find sleeping bags because I can't find one that's cute. So like I found the solution. And then a lot of times it's really just like, I don't know. I'm like a dog with a bone. I just, I have to find like the coolest and best stuff. This store is day, so well done. You should be Thank so you. proud of yourself. Thank Cause like you. you really, like, I think it's easy for people to like open a retail space and like not be as thoughtful. And like, I won, I don't think there are many people you could walk through that could talk about the things they curate. And just shows like the love and passion that goes into it, which I think is more important than anything that's in the Thank store you. is Thanks. like every item is almost like a gift from you. Thanks. And I think that's super special. Well, it's nice to be mirrored with your level of enthusiasm because not everybody I mean, is as as excited about retail as you are. And so I think that might be why like my excitement's elevated. Yeah. Because it's me. But also yours. understanding the work that like curating something like this takes yeah. and like the level of thought that is required. Like it just doesn't happen everywhere. And I think like that's what I think so the subscribers, I think why this video was so popular is it like it was less about the items and more about the storytelling mm. and like the the thought around the item because I think like a get like a, a thing is a thing yeah but when there is a thought and a story and a connection to it it just is a different level and I think that's what you experience at Breathe at Home okay. like the whole time thank you and it's one of the reasons like I keep coming back and loving it so much thank you. That means a lot to This me. is That's super good. special. <laughs> Can we hit one more thing? Yes, please, you? please do. I feel like, I mean, I think that this is going to be like the that. longest vlog of Vlogmas, oh, and I'm we'll okay stop. with that. I promise. Okay. But you have to tell me. Okay, so let's talk about like if you aren't doing like a sleeping bag, these I think are so cool. These are these. That one's giving blankets. me very Harry Styles vibes. Do you like like it? the plaid with like Am the. Am I just missing a butterfly tattoo here? <laughs> yeah, you just need like. Okay. Is it a butterfly or a moth? I think it might be a moth. <laughs> okay. Same Either way. Just, same but different. So these I think are fun for everyone from like a, a young girl to like a teen girl. Because I know a teen okay. girl can sometimes be like a little different. I think that's a hard for. person to buy for. But this I think is fun because it's easy to like throw with a, you know, for an overnight at a girlfriend's house or whatever at the end of a bed. They're all fun colors. They're a great texture. It's different than the local beach or barefoot dreams, that type of texture. Okay. But I still just think it's fun. Is it nylon-y? It's like... It's, so, oh, it's, it's puffy. Yes, I it's love soft. that. It's it's slippery. I love it. Yeah. So just, again, like a different whimsical kind of idea. I know that we touched on these last year, but they still are a favorite. Oh, my it's gosh. Everyone loved them. So this would be like a result of something that I needed as a parent. So my son was stealing my neck pillow every single night. Uh -huh. Mom, can you heat up the neck pillow for me? It's like, it's actually for me. So the Warmy was the solution to something for him. It's a weighted stuffed animal. So you put it in the microwave, just like you do okay. with your neck pillow. And then it will give them the sensation of like a weighted blanket. Okay. But it's a weighted stuffed animal and it's warm. I so love it's it. great for calming your kids down, reducing anxiety, helps them prep for bed. Great for sick days. Um, and they come in like a million cute little animals and i think one of the things people forget like when there is like a 
like a habit or something built around your kid's sleep schedule. Yeah. Like when they know the warmy comes out, yes, it's calming and weighted, but like it actually signals things in the brain when it becomes a habit that like it is time to sleep, which I think like that becomes such a great like ritual in the house of around bedtime, which makes it uberly more successful than like it being different every night. Yeah, they're no different than you. Oh, so 100%. you have your rituals for bedtime, a kid mm -hmm. has their rituals for bedtime too. So I love these. I love those. Last thing that I'll hit on are puzzles. My son is very into puzzles. He started with like a 100-piece puzzle, but now we've got 100-piece, 250, 500, and 1,000. What I will tell you as a parent is it's actually very difficult to find cute puzzles. Oh, it is. I'm a puzzle person. Okay, well then maybe the thousand piece would be sufficient. I hate a thousand piece puzzle. <laughs> I never do it. My mom and I did one over Christmas and she told me maybe, I was never allowed to do a thousand again. Maybe you need a 500 piece I, puzzle. A good 500 one is a good one. But I, I mean, it really is like, I had no idea that it's actually hard to find puzzles. We have puzzles. So there's little, they're called snack puzzles over here. Great for a stocking stuffer. They're between 48 and a hundred pieces. Okay. And then there are 250, 500, and 1,000. It's, again, this was, this came from a need as a parent myself. I was like, I don't know where to get a cute puzzle, and I don't really want to order on Amazon and yeah. see it. And these are a solution to that. I love that they're also, like, stackable and, like, in cylinders. I think, like, that's yeah. super handy as yeah. well. I love a puzzle. Good choices. I think you crushed it this year. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to edit this and look back. Do we get to make this an annual thing? Oh, it's, it's our tradition now. Okay. It is like a vlogmas, vlogmas tradi tradition. It is a vlogmas tradition. <laughs> yeah. I also am so glad that we did it early this Me year too. so that people have lots of time. Me I cannot too. wait to share. And I think like what I just shared with you is like why it is so special because you are so special. Mm -hmm. And I think like not many people could walk through the store and explain things and tell the reason why. Um, I just really appreciate you guys like trusting me to do this with all of you. Um, and I know that they all love it as well. Well, I can say the exact same sentiment back to you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. I know that this is so special. I know your community is so special oh. to you. So thank you for letting me be a part of it. I hope you've enjoyed another day of shopping with Abby and I. I just... I, I, I can't express my gratitude and her opening the store to me and us being able to share so many good gift ideas for everyone. But that wraps up day four. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.